we're really starting to see that customers are becoming more and more interested in actual deployments. They're moving from, hey, I want to see if this works, I want to put it in my labs and try it, to, hey, I actually like to try and deploy this technology. The biggest challenge that we're seeing today with SDN is not actually in the deployment of SDN, it's actually in the overall management of SDN in a production environment and the ability to troubleshoot in an SDN environment. You know, Juniper is fundamentally committed to open standards and innovation. And there's a whole bunch of new things that are coming at us from new protocols and, and new things we need to implement inside of our platforms. And the fact that we have programmable silicon that we've developed ourselves gives us a leg up and the ability to go and do things that our competitors have to wait for merchant silicon providers to have to offer before they can implement similar solutions. Well, I think Japan is on the forefront of SDN. There's technology companies here that are developing controllers. There are companies that are helping lead the way on where the technology needs to go. And they're also helping to further technology by being one of the early adopters and actually being willing to deploy technology in their data centers and other parts of their networks today. I have to say, and one of the big skills that's required is, is fundamentally the ability to communicate and really understand where our customers are going and have deep relationships with not only my internal organizations, but the sales organizations, but really having that customer relationship really helps us understand where technology trends are going so we can make sure that we're building the right solutions for our customers. You know, I love working at Juniper. One of the, one of the greatest things about being here is that we've always been a bit of the underdog, we've always been second to market in a lot of the places and the industries that we've gone into. And we're like a 10,000 person startup. It's exciting. You go to work late on a Friday and you still see dozens and, and tons of engineers still working hard to solve problems for our customers. And you just don't see that in a lot of other places where I've worked.